Have you ever heard this sound before? If you've heard that sound before while hiking, you should probably get out of there. That is the sound of the rattlesnake. The rattlesnake is the ultimate western dweller. They are most commonly found in the southwestern U.S., which includes the present-day states such as New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, Wyoming, and more. But forget that. Today I'll be sharing with you how the rattle works and why rattlesnakes do it. The rattle of a rattlesnake is much more than a simple noise. It's an absolute marvel of biological engineering shaped by millions of years of evolution. The rattle is a unique structure at the tip of its tail, composed of a series of interlocking keratin segments. Keratin, the same protein that forms human hair and nails, makes the rattle durable and capable of producing sound when shaken. It is made up of multiple hollow segments that fit loosely together. When the snake shakes its tail, these segments knock against each other. The rattle starts developing shortly after birth, which each shedding of the snake's skin adding a new segment to the structure. However, this number of segments is not necessarily an indicator of the snake's age, as segments can break off over time. The rattlesnake continues to produce new segments throughout its life, so the rattle actually grows with the snake, but because these tails are very fragile, they can break off easily. The snake's health can also influence its size. The rattle sound production is a mechanical process that relies on the rapid vibration of the tail. The rattlesnake has highly developed tail muscles that allow it to shake the rattle at an astonishing speed, up to 60 times per second, which is actually faster than the flapping of a hummingbird's wings. This high frequency vibration causes the hollow segments to collide with one another, generating a buzzing noise that can vary in intensity and pitch depending on the factors like the snake's size and the speed of the tail movement. Interestingly, recent research has shown the rattlesnake can modulate the frequency of its rattle depending on the perceived threat. When approached slowly, the snake produces a steady, low-frequency rattle. However, if the threat seems imminent, the rattlesnake increases the rattle's frequency, creating a louder, more frantic sound that may signal a greater sense of urgency. This variation in sound also serves as a form of graded communication, allowing the snake to convey different levels of threat to potential predators or intruders. Some of these predators mostly include eagles, badgers, hawks, and coyotes. If the rattle doesn't work to scare off these predators, the snake will of course result in biting, injecting venom while doing so. The rattle may have evolved also as a way to enchant the snake's visibility in its environment. They are often camouflaged to blend into their surroundings, which can make them more difficult to spot. The rattle provides an additional layer of protection while making the snake's presence known audibly, even when it's visually hidden. The rattling mechanism is also highly energy efficient. The muscles involved in shaking the rattle are specialized to work for extended periods, allowing the snake to rattle for a long time without tiring. This is crucial because some threats might take a while to leave, and the snake needs to maintain its warning signal for as long as necessary. In all actuality, rattlesnakes are unique snakes, having a gift that most other snakes don't possess. I hope everybody enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.